This episode sponsored by our viewers. Thanks to folks like Ellie, Ivar, and Connor, we've been able to continue producing episodes. Our most dedicated sponsors are those that enjoy the show. You can show your support at everydaydrinkers.tv slash donate. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I am your host, Eric Schomer, and today we're going to create the Irish Car Bomb. <sighs> this recipe has been submitted by Henry, Brian, TH Big Dog 420, Junior, Kimmo, Kimmy 0017, Anonymousness, Anth. Anth. Oh, I can't read my writing. Yeah. Anth you know Daggerate. Anth that Great, B Boy Frenzy, Across 2006 Shadow, Dale Waters 09. Yuba, City, Psycho, Rocket Man, 8911, and In the Black Lodge. So I gotta get it done. That way I don't get any more long lists of names to read out. This is a very popular one. So what we're gonna do is three quarters of a pint of Guinness. I got Guinness, check. And this is really the only reason I hadn't done this drink because I don't really drink Guinness, so I don't mind it. I just don't usually sit down and go, oh, Guinness, that's just not me. Um, a half ounce, and there's a couple variants to the the measures for this, but I'm going to say a half ounce of Irish cream. I'm using Cool Swan because it's the best. Half ounce of Jameson Jameson Irish whiskey. This is the other problem. I didn't have this. I don't think. If I did, I have duplicates now. Um, so I just bought one that, oh, came with since it's the holidays. Look at that. Jameson shot glasses logo on the bottom. That's pretty cool. So what we're going to do first, because it makes the most sense. Let's see. Redemption value. Ooh. We're gonna open this. It's gonna explode on you. Because the carbonated connector thing just cracked open. So it's now doing its job. We're gonna pour a little bit in here. Say two thirds, that looked like two thirds to you. Now you could tell that it's uh, the the Guinness brand because it does that cool thing with the, with the waves and the, the craziness. So we'll leave that over there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our shot glass and we're going to add our half ounce of Irish cream into here. There we go. Got to make the noises. And since I'm going to be layering this, I think, use a different one. Let's see if I can layer this with a half ounce of Jameson. Brand new open. Also picked up Pinnacle Cake Vodka and Pinnacle Marshmallow Vodka so we could maybe make some drinks with those in the coming weeks. That'll be fun. Nothing like vodka that tastes like cake. You should combine cake vodka, pineapple vodka, and whipped cream vodka. For a pineapple upside down cake? I don't know, I just think it'd be cool. <laughs> oh. It'd have one heck of a burn, but it would probably taste pretty cool. It would. No, it'd be like a pineapple cake thing. Or maybe be... cake vodka. Anything with cake is good. Cake. So, now we have our layered shooter. One on top of the other. We're gonna dump that in here. Maybe, a little messy. Maybe make a mess, but... And look, it's already settled to exactly how we want it. Then we have to chug this. I don't know how much of that I could do. I just ate dinner, I'm kind of full. So I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna get a, a good tasting, ready? I don't wanna make too much of a mess. I gotta record four more shows. Boom! Now drink. Hmm. does some crazy curdling, which people told me about. I guess I can leave that here. That's actually not that hard because Guinness is so light. It doesn't, it just, it's like drinking, dare I say, water. Um, it's just very, oh, I could, car bomb everywhere. Well, here's the problem. <laughs> You're drinking in like uh, almost a, a, a good amount of Guinness in one drink. This is kind of like one of those things you just do once. It, oddly enough, it's probably at the wrong time of the party. I chose to do this first because 
you can let this settle and kind of adapt. Maybe this will work for you at the bar if you're going to start doing car bombs. If you do them soon, you'll start rolling and get figure out how much alcohol you just put in your body before you start moving on to more drinks. Carbonation is crazy. Um, it's got a different taste to it, but it's got that like creamy, a little subtle, a little, little subtle Irish whiskey. Really, the subtleness of that Irish whiskey comes into the finish. I get a lot of like whiskey flavor on my tongue with that with the Irish cream, which unfortunately the Irish cream doesn't really bring a lot to the to party because there's just so much volume in here, um, and there's probably still a little bit in there. It does do some weird curdling things, so that's a little disconcerting. But otherwise, it's a crazy, crazy crazy thing to do. There's really no good reason for doing this. Besides, if you're a huge Guinness drinker, my personal preference would be to pour Guinness into a glass and drink it at my, my leisure before pounding down that much. But it is actually pretty easy to drink. It's not that hard to really put down and it's got taste qualities. Definitely Irish. Good thing for St. Patrick's Day. But for now, I want to get it done because by St. Patrick's Day, that list is going to be triple. That's not good. So go to everydaydrinkers.tv, which now looks like .com, and it will redirect you there. It's pretty cool, right? Um, I've already seen people sign up, so you got that going for you. I want to know, let's see, question of the day. <clears throat> Do you drink stout? What is your favorite brand? Or are you just a Guinness drinker? Because there's a lot of good ones. Oatmeal stout, milk stouts. Come on, get creative. I love oatmeal stout. There you go. Everydaydrinkers.tv. We're teaching you how to drink.